650 kilometers southeast of Sydney, near Baronga in New South Wales, burns a spark of invention. Creating clean energy is one man's dream in this lonely corner of the outback. Roger Davy is obsessed with an overlooked source of power. The sun. They see so much of it here, they've named the area Sunraysia. There's sunshine more than 300 days a year. Roger's plan is to build a solar energy plant on a scale that's never been seen before. It is spectacular. The top of the tower would be right at about our eyesight as we're, we're situated right now, at about 65 metres across. The German-designed tower will be the world's biggest solar power plant. At 600 metres in height, it will challenge the world's tallest buildings. The concept is over a century old, but it wasn't until 1982 that an experimental solar tower was built in Spain. It was 200 metres tall and produced electricity for eight years. The Australian plan includes a circular glass base seven kilometres in diameter. Unlike other solar plants that use mirrors to reflect the sun's rays, photovoltaic conversion, or liquids to absorb energy, the tower works on the same principle that keeps this balloon aloft, rising hot air. The sun's rays will beat down on the greenhouse-like glass surface and heat the air beneath. Hot air rises, so the air runs towards the centre where the tower is situated. And just like a cold day when you light a fire, the smoke goes whoosh up the chimney, runs through turbines, turbines spin through the generators generating electricity which I think is almost the holy grail of renewable energy. 32 turbines could produce 200 megawatts of electricity, enough to power 200,000 homes without contributing at all to global warming. It's calculated that each solar tower could eliminate almost a million tonnes of greenhouse gases every year. It is clean, it is green, it is the way of the future. People have started to worry about the environment. They've started to worry about clean air. They've started to worry about emissions of fossil fuels. And if you can reduce those totally, or at least in part, you're doing something for future generations. You will slow down climate change or slow down global warming. The effects on air quality would be the equivalent to taking 90,000 cars off the road. The Australian government has put money into the plan, but for now, it's just a dream. <laughs>